So I'm just going to pick up on a new topic Let's related go. to the interview, surrogacy. Yeah. We didn't talk about that. No. We talked a little bit, a few, yeah. episodes, like six, seven episodes ago, we talked. When it first came, it was in the news. Okay. Yeah. So, so what? So what is surrogacy? Surrogacy is human trafficking, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's paying somebody to have your baby for you. Usually somebody who's which less is, fortunate. Which like, is, there's other ways to do it. Yeah. And I, I say it tongue in cheek. I mean, it's a serious issue, but surrogacy, you're basically paying someone else to have your baby for you. Rent a womb. Rent a womb is another, it's what the hip kids are saying. Yeah. Um, but so our Holy Father is drawing light to this issue of, you know, the, the act of not just being married, being husband and wife, but the fruit of that, having children is a sacred thing. And it's defined by God's law, by natural law, by church law. And this rise in surrogacy is an affront to all of those. Yeah. And especially like the Kardashians have made it like f famous. Well, and the reason known. why, yeah, there's a vanity aspect to it. Because they don't want to mess up their bodies. Not that they couldn't have children, but they're, they want other people to do that for them. Yeah. Which is so, because they have the means to and other people are desperate and need the money or want the money. It's... And there obviously has to be something with the mother who's carrying that baby that there still feels, I'm sure her whole body's telling her, obviously she's pregnant. Yeah. And after you give up the kid, it's going to be like, your body's going to like talk about like postpartum, like all kinds of other stuff that are going there. My heart sure. goes out to those women that, uh, you know, they do that or they, they, they feel like they need to do that, the, who carry babies and give them up. Again, just having had a child and to see what my wife goes through to have that child and then to not have the reward and the, the 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 good and the pleasure that comes from you know this is my child now i'm going i'm going to raise him i'm going to pour into my love i'm going to yeah. and then you're going to start receiving it back like to not have that part of it is just so disheartening and sad yeah, to give up your child right at that moment of delivery and that's what we have to be cautious about technological advance. Obviously not everything is bad, but not everything is good, you know? So there, there are trade-offs both ways and it's, it's and playing God. Because we can to play do God. something yeah. doesn't mean we ought to do something because yeah. it has ramifications on our psyche, on who we are as a people, yeah. on our stability. Like just because we can do something like surrogacy doesn't mean that it is good that we do something like surrogacy. Imagine the effect on the child. You don't think that child's going to grow up if he finds out? Who was my biological mother? Who was the one that carried me? And there's a, it's a slippery slope. What's next is going to be genetically modified children. I don't want a boy. I don't want a girl. Or the, Oh, that's the, coming up with yeah, CRISPR? Yeah. The, all that. Which all is, that, yeah, gene writing. That's, that's, exactly, that's coming up. That's what's coming up. And, and it's ultimately, what's it doing? It's giving, taking control, trying to put God in a box and say, no, I'm going to determine what my baby is. I'm going to determine this person's going to have it for me. Like I'm playing God is basically what's going on. It's, 